ஹாய் திஸ் இஸ் டாக்டர் ராஜலக்ஷ்மி சிஎஸ்சி டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஃப்ரம் சத்யபாமா இன்ஸ்டியூட் ஆஃப் சயின்ஸ் அண்ட் டெக்னாலஜி டுடே ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு டாக் அபவுட் த சப்ஜெக்ட் ஹியூமன் கம்ப்யூட்டர் இன்டராக்ஷன் ஸோ ஹியூமன் கம்ப்யூட்டர் இன்டராக்ஷன் திஸ் மெயின்லி ஃபோக்கஸஸ் ஆன் த டிசைன் அண்ட் டெவலப்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் இன்ட்ராக்டிவ் சிஸ்டம்ஸ் டு ஃபெசிலிட்டேட் த எஃபெக்டிவ் கம்யூனிகேஷன் பிட்வீன் ஹியூமன்ஸ் அண்ட் கம்ப்யூட்டர்ஸ் so hci it is basically it is a combination of computers psychology design and other user friendly interfaces that enhances user experience and it optimizes usability now we are going to see what is computer so a computer which is basically a electronic device that processes and stores data while we provide instructions Uh, by the user or a program usually it performs calculations and manages data and it is able to do the task and operations this is not much difference in human and uh, computer so computer consists of input devices output devices memory and processing so here what is interaction so interaction is nothing but the performance of task given by human as well as the computer so here the communication between the user and the system is clearly depicted through this diagram so is a interface how the user is communicating with the interface cpu and then here about is the input channel and the output channel so now we are going to see the human computer interaction how it is related to cognitive psychology so here Uh, the cognitive interaction is sight touch hearing voice and spatial so here i have divided this cognitive interaction into two phases and this is related to input and output process so here the input process interaction one is related to mouse and keyboard and the touch screen ui so here output devices are monitor and speakers and screen and speakers vibrations so in the phase interaction two here input device will be mainly through the voice body movement and gesture along with the face and the output uh, device which mainly consumes the speakers so which is related to sensors and screens and the plus speakers the next thing why we are going to use the human computer interaction so here we have to enhance the user experience and here the efficiency and usability of the user should be effective so accessibility and inclusivity product and service success and ethical considerations we are using this human computer interaction so here where it develop so hci it developed in the 1960s where graphical user interface were launched and it is uses the concepts like time sharing and graphical uh, user interface so here uh, it is continually evolving new technologies user centered design approach to enhance the interaction between humans and computers so here uh, in the 1940s so harvard mark so ibm automatic sequence controlled calculator uh, which was a 55 meter long and 8 feet high five tons so here eniac was the first thing which was uh, in 1943 the first electronic numerical integrator and computer and the first program data processor which was developed in 1960s so here it say comes from the late 1970s and here uh, the professionals and the obsessives were dedicated uh, they were dedicated to this uh, human computers so here personal computing emerged in 1970s so here the personal computing evolves around the personal software and personal computer platforms and the personal computing it is an a uh, non professional computer user also can be giving the command and the system dialogues so here what is the main goals of hci so human computer interaction we want to increase the effectiveness efficiency and satisfaction with the uh, user who can achieve is a specified goals in a particular environment so an usable system is easy easy to learn and effective to use efficient to use and it's safe to use so now we are going to see the problems faced with the computer so mechanical poor feedback 
So, this is a old uh, computer's uh, feedback. So, here specialists use and process control calculations, no intention to address the mass market. So, here what is the development of HCA? So, here the user centered design methodologies and usability testing and iterative refinement, this mainly uh, meets the user requirements and enhances its usability. So, HCI is mainly used in emerging technologies like virtual reality, augmented reality, natural language processing and voice based interfaces. So, here these advantages, advancements offer new possibilities and challenges for designing interactive systems that enhances user experiences. So, first thing we are going to see the emerging technology in AR and VR. So, uh, augmented reality and virtual reality, so they are uh, mainly creating intuitive and natural interactions in the immersive environment. So, here NLP. So, natural language processing is en to enable the computers to understand what the human is interacting with that through the language and voice assistants and chatbots are the main examples of NLP applications. So, HCI, it provides more natural and effective communication between users and machines. So, next one is gesture recognition. So, gesture recognition, it allows the users to interact with the systems through hand and body movements, gestures and it is mainly used in gaming, virtual reality and smart home devices. So, it mainly explores uh, uh, gesture based uh, information. So, next thing we are going to see the internet of things IoT where it is interconnectivity of physical devices through the internet. So, it is a user friendly interface which con controls and monitors IoT devices. So, mainly it is used for simplicity, context, awareness and manage large amount of data generated by IoT systems wearable technology. So, this is the main technology where wearable devices such as smartwatches or fitness trackers and real augmented reality glasses. So, which mainly uh, includes HCI to face the unique challenges in terms of screen size or interaction techniques and context awareness. So, next one is brain computer interface. So, this mainly involves the human brain and the computer systems. It develops the interfaces. So, that they can interpret brain signals for controlling devices and it provides input without physical interaction. So, next one is the adaptive and personalized interfaces. So, here uh, the user preference behavior and context mainly used dynamically and it adapts it and it will be uh, based on the individual user profiles which provides personalized recommendations and adaptive user experience. So, the future of HCA. So, HCI mainly it is used in emotional intelligent interfaces uh, which mainly responds to the human emotions where creating more empathetic and engaging interactions and the multimodal interfaces will enable users to interact with technology using various modes such as touch, voice, gestures and gaze and it provides intuitive interactions. So, advancements in brain computer uh, interfaces, it will direct communication between the human brain and the computers which revolutionize what we interact with the technology. So, next uh, uh, it will be a crucial role in extended reality creating immersive and interactive experiences. So, which merges virtual and augmented and mixed realities. So, the next one is it is these systems prioritize privacy, data security, fairness and societal impact. So, next future development is it makes interactions between natural, personalized, aligned with human needs and preferences. And the next one is intelligent voice assistance, virtual assistance will con continue to evolve become becoming more conversational context where and capable of providing personalized assistance. So, here there is the example of HCA. So, where smartphone interfaces, e-commerce websites, voice assistance, video game interfaces, smartphone devices, virtual reality and augmented reality are the best examples and the advantages we are going to tell about HCA is improved user experience, enhanced usability, increased efficiency, accessibility and inclusivity, user centered design, innovation and competitive and uh, advantage. So, 
here the main disadvantages of HCA are complexity and learning curve. So accessibility challenges also comes under this over emphasis on user preferences, balancing between the complexity and simplicity and designing of diverse user groups and technological dependence. So conclusion, so HCA plays a vital role in designing and improving the interaction between humans and computers where it mainly uh, involves, the revol it is revolving around the user needs, preferences and behaviors and it increases the user experience and here we are getting the user satisfaction, enhanced usability and increased efficiency by using the user centered design methodologies and uh, mainly the computer interfaces and the immersive extended reality experiences uh, which mainly concentrates on ethical considerations and promote resp responsible and inclusive technology use. And the last thing is uh, uh, it is mainly used in advancement and user needs uh, which will shape the human computer interaction in creating interfaces and systems that enhance our daily lives and empower us to leverage the full potential of technology. Thank you.